In this video, I'm going to teach you how to capture videos and photos in Quill. To do this, navigate to the Documents tab and go up to Capture Image. In Capture Image, you can choose between 2D images, 360 images, cube maps, or 3D to Facebook. 2D is very self explanatory. You get several presets, or you can manually adjust by pushing up and down on your right analog stick. When you're happy with the size, hit Start Capture and aim it at your scene. You can push up and down to adjust the focal length. Pull the trigger when you're ready to take a photo. This photo will be saved to your disk in your pictures drive by default. The next option is 360 photos. These photos will be captured into a sphere. By placing your sphere in the scene and pulling the trigger, it will take a 360 photo of your environment moving outwards from the sphere. The next option is cube map. It's exactly like the other one, but it projects it onto six walls of a cube. The final option is 3D to Facebook. This will allow you to view your images in 3D while using Facebook on your browser or on your phone. To properly create these captures, you have to make sure that your scene is set to life scale by scaling it up. Once it looks life scale, hit start capture and you'll see these different dots running out from your viewer. The green one should be the center of your scene, the red in the front should be the, the foreground, and the red in the back should be the background. It's best if your scene has something in all of these three areas to create the best sense of depth. When you're happy, pull the trigger. You will then be presented with many options, which allow you to share directly to your Facebook timeline or save it as its own individual file. In the Capture Animation window, you have options for recording video within Quill. You can switch the format to either AVI or GIF. You can change the resolution here, and you can adjust the frame rate with this toggle here. Like before, you can adjust the focal length by pushing up and down on your right analog stick. You can also adjust between multiple different filters by hitting this option here. You can also control the vignette, which will give a dark outline around your image. And you can smooth the camera movement with this adjustment toggle here. To start the capture, simply push the right trigger on your right controller. And you can push play on your left controller to start your animation. You can adjust the focal length while you're recording to get some interesting effects. When you're happy with your animation, hit Save Capture. It's important to know that these captures have their limitations. The maximum length of the recording will vary based on the file size and frame rate, but overall, you should never go above 20 seconds of recording or the file will become corrupt. You can subvert this by taking many short captures and then stringing them back together later in a software like Premiere. These captures will also not record sound effects or music. If you want to record your scene with audio, I'd recommend using a screen capture software like OBS or NVIDIA Shadow Play to record your monitor with the Quill sound effects.